Warning, it sucks I have to say this, but nothing in this article should be taken as absolute truth or professional medical advice. People should do their own research before taking any advice, before doing any protocol, even advice and protocols from an MD. Again, do your own research and reach your own conclusions, since your truth is always true for you until it is not. We were confronted with this ancient enemy and began brainstorming ways to start finally fighting back. After many months of extensive research and trial and error with test groups, the solution finally took shape. There were a number of requirements that needed to be met. First off, the protocol that was developed would need to be cheap, natural, and effective. It would need to be easy to obtain and low enough in cost to roll out to third world countries and individuals on a budget. It would have to be a synergistic combination that would not only kill the fungus in the body, but also the biofilms that it resides in. It would also need to restore the correct balance to the gut, fix the gut lining, and inhibit further growth. It would then need to restore immune system function to new levels so that the body could do most of the work. The first challenge was finding the most potent antifungal that did particularly well against Candida, Cryptococcus, and Aspergillus. Most natural compounds were strong in one area, but weak in others. They might target one of the three mentioned fungi well, but they might also wipe out beneficial bacteria and create an imbalance, setting the stage for an even more aggressive fungal infection. Eventually, we found the perfect balance, the holy trinity, NAC, oregano oil, and black seed oil. In combination, these three compounds have everything the body needs to combat systemic fungal invasion. Let's take a brief look over the methodology and the individual components, continue with the daily protocol to follow, and end with the supporting studies. Protocol Methodology In order to halt dysfunctional cell repair and inflammation response, first, the majority of the fungal colonies need to be eradicated. Not only the free-moving planktonic fungal cells, but the deeply embedded fungal colonies that benefit from the protection of biofilms. The three components effectively disrupt and remove biofilms and kill the fungus. Once this occurs, natural autophagy processes and the body's healing abilities restart. By halting Candida's constant toxin release, the body begins repairing cells and DNA normally again. The diseased tissue, including the gut barrier, is repaired. The gut biome becomes rebalanced, nutrient deficiencies cease. Over time, biofilms are released and removed from the gut central nervous system, interstitial, and brain. The immune system becomes much stronger, able to fight off fungus as it arrives. Inhibition of any further biofilms gives the immune system the upper hand. The maintenance phase begins, supercharging mitochondrial activity and giving your body the ability to fight it off naturally through sirtuin activation. The NAC Protocol, Daily Regimen, as of May 2022. Morning, 1200 milligrams of NAC, N-acetylcysteine. 300 milligrams oregano oil, 10 to 1 extract in gel capsule. Black seed oil, 4000 milligrams or one teaspoon. Night, 600 milligrams NAC, 300 milligrams oregano oil, and one teaspoon black seed oil. We recommend using the brushing protocol and nasal spray covered below. Brushing routine. Use a non-fluoridated toothpaste twice daily and include one to two drops of fennel seed essential oil on the brush. Recommended brands are Desert Essence Tea Tree and Fennel. Brush the tongue and gums as well. 
The fennel seed essential oil will efficiently kill fungal growth deep in the gum line, nerve roots, dentin, and on the tongue. It will also enter the bloodstream and cross the blood-brain barrier for additional clearing. Use this routine during the initial protocol and continue indefinitely. This will also effectively halt tooth decay by clearing and inhibiting fungal growth in the oral cavity. Nasal spray. There are two options here. X-Clear makes an excellent product that is efficient at killing fungus and bad bacteria in the sinus and upper respiratory. If cost is an issue, the second option is buying hypochlorous acid, what your immune system uses, and using it in a nasal spray bottle. Bryotech makes a face spray at a good value that can easily be transferred to a nasal inhaler bottle. Fungal die-off systems may include tiredness, exhaustion, muscle soreness, increased chest or nasal discharge, cold or flu-like symptoms, cold sores, headaches, irritability, change in stool frequency, volume, or color, bloated stomach, cramps, and increased gas. Note, it is extremely important to continue with this even after you're feeling better. Even weeks after no die-off, a mature biofilm could finally release, causing yet another battle with fungal colonies that need to be cleared. Follow this for a minimum of two months, then count another three weeks out without symptoms before moving on to the next phase. The maintenance phase, as of August 2022. Morning, 600 milligrams of NAC, 500 milligrams of slow niacin, time-release nicotonic acid, 100 milligrams of terastilbene, black seed oil, up to 400 milligrams or one teaspoon. Evening, 500 milligrams of slow niacin, time-release nicotonic acid, one teaspoon black seed oil. This phase of the protocol allows your body to begin fighting it off naturally. Oregano oil is no longer needed, the combination of an NAD booster, NAC, and terastilbene activate human sirtuins 1, 3, 4, and 7, and modulate the IL-17 pathway in Th17 helper cells to directly attack the fungus while preventing autoimmune response. It will also begin the process of repairing single and double-strand DNA using master template transcription your body will begin to heal and function at new levels. If you have nerve pain, tremors, or post-COVID syndrome, start with a half dose of slow niacin to make sure you're not experiencing discomfort. If you do, use nicotinamide riboside in place of slow niacin during the maintenance phase. A dosage of 100 milligrams will be adequate as an alternative. If you have pre-existing health issues, especially diabetes or high blood pressure, make sure to consult with your doctor. The protocol can lower blood pressure and blood glucose levels. Continue with the brushing and nasal protocol to keep your body clear. This will minimize fungal invasion to a manageable level where the body can fight it off and the continued use of NAC and black seed oil prevents any biofilm formation. What should I eat? If you are coming from a lifetime of eating terrible food, going on an extreme diet is going to dramatically increase your chance of failure. Connecting this protocol with dietary failure is a terrible idea. Generally speaking, you want to reduce or eliminate bread and yeast containing products along with refined sugar as much as possible. If you're used to drinking soda and eating fast food, Eliminate the soda for flavored seltzer, as an example, and avoid refined or leavened bread. Dropping all carbs will make you constantly exhausted and is not recommended. If you want to keep bread in your life, go for unleavened flatbread and sourdough bread. Avoiding high fructose corn syrup, yeast bread, and yeast alcohol, beer, is a big step in the right direction. If you are already in relatively good health, 
The paleo diet has most of what is recommended in sound candida diets. You can add in basic carbs to supplement that. The level of strictness on your diet depends fully on how bad your level of infection is and whether you have the genetic breaks we refer to as familial candidiasis. If you have those genetic defects and have been in a long battle with yeast and fungi, we recommend a strict diet with no bread, yeast, or refined sugar. On the other hand, if your infection level is lower, minimal die-off, you may be fine without modifying your diet. Some people can continue to make progress on the protocol with no change in diet. If you're hitting a roadblock in progress, then definitely look at what you're eating. You cannot starve candida or fungus, which is a myth, but you can slow down its replication with the above advice. Even keto diets are not bulletproof, since nearly half of protein intake will be converted to glucose anyways. The bottom line is to reduce or eliminate where you can. Managing die-off symptoms. As you begin killing the fungus and parasites in your body, they release toxins from cell lysis. This creates various symptoms as mentioned previously. The most common symptoms you will experience are tiredness, stomach cramps, or bloating. Depending on how bad your infection is, you may experience more severe symptoms. If you begin to experience nerve pain, tingling in your extremities, or headaches, this is a good indicator that the infection has spread to your central nervous system. If you are experiencing more severe symptoms, reduce your intake of oregano oil to half daily and only increase to normal dosage after symptoms improve. Make sure you are well hydrated throughout the day so that you can eliminate toxins efficiently. Your body will tell you when you need rest. Good sleep is very important. Both NAC and black seed oil are liver protective during this process, but you can also add other natural supplements like milk thistle to support your detoxification process. Molybendum supplementation has been shown to help with die-off symptoms, specifically with the toxic byproducts of candida. We don't recommend activated charcoal as it decreases effectiveness of the protocol. You will have ups and downs potentially for months. You will experience short periods of extreme energy and well-being, then another layer of biofilm will be released, starting yet another battle with fungal colonies. Having ups and downs, relapses, is normal and means you are effectively clearing a lifelong infection. You will then reach the point where die-off stops and your well-being is consistent. Stay the course, no matter how long it takes. Breakthroughs to watch for. We've seen enough feedback from protocol users to describe some common breakthroughs you will experience as the fungus begins leaving the body. A sudden and dramatic increase in vivid dreaming or remembering your dreams after years of not remembering is common. Third person dreams and even lucid dreaming has been reported increased flexibility, and lessening joint and muscle pains are common. Random sudden bursts of energy between die-off periods, short but intense periods of joy or feelings of well-being, reversal of negative thoughts or brain fog, decrease in deviant thoughts or behavior, and a general feeling that things are improving is also common. These are your first steps to regaining your humanity. Embrace these changes. As you begin improving, the fungus may attempt to move into other body systems to maintain survival. Having odd pains or symptoms in uncommon areas, skin rashes, acne, headaches, eye pain, joint pain, is normal and will pass. Focus on these short periods of increased energy and well-being. And remember that when you fully clear the infection, you will feel that way consistently. Stay focused on the outcome and don't let setbacks defeat you. It has been controlling you for a lifetime. It's time to put the pressure on and beat it into oblivion.